Hey everybody, Beloved911 here to answer your question about RMXP. And this one comes from Kate Titions, and he says, Do you know how to shake pictures? I have a picture taking up the entire screen, and I want it to, well, shake. So, i to bring up RMXP, and I'll make this one from scratch, so you guys can see exactly how I'm doing this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a trigger for it so I can uh, trigger it whenever I want. So I'm just going to have a character here, and the picture that I'm going to use is the default face number one. And if you guys don't have any of these uh, faces or anything, I'll put a link to my website in the description, and you guys can go there and get whatever of these faces you want. So, um, picture ID, I'll keep as one. Not that it really matters, because I'm only going to use one picture for this. And I will make it... Let's see. Twice as big. Try and take up the entire screen like he wants. And... Let's see. Try and center it. I think that should be about right. Alright, let's check this and see where it's at. That's yeah, not too bad. It's not exactly centered, but you get the gist of it. You can mess around with those and uh, get whatever you want. So, there's no uh, event command to make it shake like there is to make the whole screen shake. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to need to go to Move Picture. Uh, make sure that it's on the picture ID that you want. Mine is number one, so it's going to stay as number one. And if you want it to shake like violently back and forth, then you're going to want to put it at either one or two frames. So what I'm going to do is make two separate moving commands, and it will move back and forth. So um, let's see. So it was at negative 50. I'm going to keep the vertical alignment the same, and I'm going to move it uh, horizontally along the x-axis. Probably. I'll make it 5 at one frame. So it's going to move to the right by 5. And make sure it's at the same zoom level. Now, this part's cr critical. What you're going to need to do, because uh, this happens over the course of one frame, you're going to need to put in a waiting period before you put it in the next part. And you're going to need to have that as one frame. Now, the next part is the same as this one, so I'm going to copy that, paste it here, and we're just going to edit the information about it. Okay, same ID, same picture that we're using, uh, same number of frames, but instead of 5, we're going to have it negative 5. Same zoom, blo uh, zoom level and uh, vertical alignment. So if we didn't have this wait frame here, it would read all of these at the same time. And that leads to problems when it's trying to execute uh, these commands. So once you put a waiting period in there, it gives it time for this first um, move picture to finish. It'll actually move it, and then um, after that frame is done, it will read the second part, this uh, second movement. So after that, I'm going to put in another wait time of a frame allow this to finish. So, this is what it's going to look like. Um, I'm going to put in the remove picture right here, or erase picture, and I'll show you what this looks like. So I talk to him. You can see it only lasts the two frames that, um, that we have it taking up. But you can see that it, I hope you can see that it, uh, pops in, shake left to right over the course of two frames, and disappears. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it repeat itself. And instead of doing a loop, because uh, loops during certain commands in this game will freeze your game. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make um, a label.
label. And if you don't know how to use these labels, I've made a video on it, and if I remember to, I will put the link into the description for you guys. But um, So the first thing we're going to need to do is put our label before the movement. So after the picture already shows up, um, we're going to make a label, and I'll just call it label1. You can see there. Then, at the end of this, after the last, the last waiting period, after the last movement is done, we're going to do jump to label 1. Make sure the names are the same uh, for whatever you call it. So, I'll show you what this looks like now. And there's no purpose in uh, doing an erase picture now because it's on a loop and it's not going to go away. So, I hope you can see that clearly. I don't know how well this... Uh, screen recorder is going to adjust to the movement, but, uh, so it's mostly taking up the full screen, I tried to get it centered, kinda, and it's shaking violently back and forth. So now, the only thing left to do is to make it, uh, make it disappear in whatever fashion you want. If you're talking to somebody and you want an like a choice of what to say, or actually we'll do show text first, and uh, let's say that the person is telling you that he's afraid and he's shaking from uh, fear or whatever, because please help me, I'm so scared, and then after that I would uh, put in my show choices, so um, choice one, I would be I'll just put everything with the art. And then the second one would be like, I'm sorry, or whatever. And you don't even tell him anything to make him stop. So. Okay, so anyway, after that's all done, uh, if you tell him everything will be alright, then. I, that would probably be the point where either you um, you erase the picture or you stop it from moving. So I'm just going to erase the picture here and make sure the ID is uh, the same as the picture that you're using. And if you just say, I'm sorry, and that's all you say, then it's not going to do anything. So then, um, what you could do here is you could put your conversation in here, or if you're done with all of this and you want it to stop, then you'd go back to the first page here and you put in put in another jump to label and you put another label uh, like on the outside here or something. jump to label, and we'll do number two this time, and then make a label here called two, and then you're totally outside of the first loop. So, and actually I might have messed up here, let's see how this works. So if you want to uh, have a conversation, you're going to need to make a separate event and have them run, run uh, simultaneously. And you can activate it with a switch, uh, just put in a control switch and make your other event um, the condition as that switch is on. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any comments on this or questions on what to do next, uh, how to play off of this or anything else, don't forget to leave comments, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.